If you have a scene that has a lot of objects in it, then it's very important that you be able to focus in on just the thing that you're working on. And we don't have a ton of objects here in this scene, but we have enough that it would be useful if we could just focus in on just one. Or in 3DS Max terminology, isolate the object. And to do that, just select your object. And then down here below the timeline, there is a mysterious little blue button, Isolate Selection Toggle. And when you click on that, everything else in the scene is hidden. And we can just look at that one object. Now we can actually select other objects in the scene even though they're hidden. We could go into the Scene Explorer to do that. But if we selected another object, that would not make it visible. If we want to make things visible, we have to turn Isolate back off again. But Isolate's super useful. You'll use it all the time. The other thing I want to show you is Lock Selection. And this is less useful and kind of more of a nuisance. The space bar in 3ds Max locks the current selection. If you're a Maya user, this is going to get you in trouble because the spacebar in Maya will maximize the current view. In other programs, the spacebar does something else. It may play in your timeline. Well, in 3DS Max, it locks the current selection so that you cannot select anything else. So if I select one of these sides, that's fine. And I could select whatever I want and everything's fine. But if I accidentally or on purpose tap the spacebar, now that selection is locked. And I could try to click on other things and nothing happens. I mean, I can move that object and whatnot, but I cannot select anything else. Let me undo that with Control-Z. And I know that my selection is locked because of this little padlock icon down here. We could turn it off by clicking on it, or we can use the space bar. So once again, select something, tap the space bar. We've locked that selection. Cannot select anything else. To turn locking off, just tap the space bar again. 